<laughs> I'm at dentist Steve Marsh's office. Doctor, so many patients walk through your door because they have a big event or an occasion coming up and they want that smile to jump out at everybody. Well, you know, oftentimes they're not proud of their smile. Whether it is a big, big occasion, sometimes it's a job interview, sometimes they're starting to date before uh -huh. again and so whatever we can do to help them smile and sometimes it involves bonding veneers whatever so we try to customize it for whatever they're looking for uh, and something that'll last a long time well during this time that we're conversing here you've customized the patients that we're going to zero in on and shine a spotlight on these were all patients that had something coming up right yeah. and um, so we thought we'd focus on them and Joe just so you know when patients first come in we also take photographs of them lots uh -huh. of them so that they see it and we see it and they can point out to us what it is that that's bothers bothersome in their smile so who are we starting with so we're going to start over here with Jennifer so Jennifer was starting a new job and she said Joe she wanted to smile she was working with people she was actually working in the office talked about what we can do and Joe what we ended up doing was we raised the gum tissue with a laser to to give her a uniform smile the teeth that sort of crossed over the years she didn't want to go through braces because she knew even with braces she wouldn't get the smile she wanted wow, so that was all done without braces without braces gum contouring and four porcelain veneers and gave her a smile that she said she's proud of and when she works with other people she's proud of her smile no kidding so Sally, Sally was going to a class reunion and she said she hasn't liked what happened to her teeth. She actually never liked her teeth. Some were dark, some were chips. And so we looked at different options and again, just like we did with Jennifer, we looked at porcelain veneers. We talked about doing eight or ten. She was able to do six at this time. Okay. And she said when she went to the reunion, she felt very good about herself. Mm. And uh, and actually she said a number of people said she looked younger than she had. So <laughs> you, we, want that. you want to hear we that. Love that. And a similar thing with Sharon. Sharon was also going to a family reunion in this case not a class reunion her teeth had turned dark they had moved quite a bit and Sharon came to us and said you know I'm I'm really a happy person but I don't smile because I often want to protect how I look mm. so we actually did 10 porcelain veneers and actually Joe just this week uh, Sharon came in and thought it was time to do her lowers uh, and thought maybe she should approach them very similar to the way we did her uppers and uh, moving forward we will uh, and lastly Deborah so Deborah's daughter was getting married and she had had her teeth bonded many years ago 20 years ago or so in LA and she's wanted a big fresh smile and so we said we thought we could do it with porcelain veneers we actually had done uh, some of the other people in the wedding party and gave her the smile that she thought was quite a difference again 10 porcelain veneers reshaped the bottom and uh, actually did some whitening to give her a smile that made her ready to be the mother of the bride. Well, you know, sometimes you don't need an occasion to come and see you. Sometimes you're just tired of not smiling. And, and you know, we saw a lot of that during COVID because people were right. on Zoom all the time and they saw their teeth in a way right. that they hadn't and, and actually had a feeling for what others thought of them. And uh, in many cases, that was the impetus to bring them in to get their teeth it's done. It's just so important that you can really handle any situation for whatever a person's going through and say, look, what can we do to put that smile back on well, your face? Well, we try to do that. I wouldn't say we can do anything, right? but we always, uh, right. we actually do a wax prototype to show them what we think they can um, become mm -hmm. before we actually do it. So they have a sense of what they're going to end up with before we even start. And I think that's important to the patient. And it's really important to us as we put their smile back together. Well, if you got a big occasion coming up or you just want that smile that you've always wanted, give Dr. Marsh and his team a call at 440-461-1003, or you can log on to the website. It's a great website, clevelandsmiles.com.